So, what does holding your breath have to do with how your muscles work? Ralphie, I think you need a closer look. Oh no, tell me she didn't say that. Attention, attention all competitors. Event number two is about to begin. Mr. Sinew and Ms. Frizzle, please report to the starting line in three minutes. Uh, I'll take my closer look another time, Miss Frizzle. Ralphie's right. We have to get back to the track. <gasps> Not to worry, Arnold. You have lots of time to find out what air and muscles have to do with each other. We do? Oh, yes, and you're coming with me, Tim. This way, please. Let us know what you find out. Is it just me, or are we going on a field trip? Come on, bus. Do your stuff. Where'd the bus go? It's right in the palm of my hand. Okay, class. Time to take chances, make mistakes, get messy, and breathe deep. Miss Frizzle, where are we going? In there, with the air. Hit it, Liz! This is typical. The next event is about to start any minute, and what are we doing? We're driving into Miss Frizzle's nose! Air, oh air, has my little class gone? Air, oh air, can they be? We're heading towards your lungs! Attention, attention! 145 seconds to event number two. Get your popcorn now. Oh, better warm up. One and two. Hey, you guys, can you hear me? We hear you. What is going on? We're getting ready to start. Where are you? We're right here. We're just entering Miss Frizzle's left lung. Then step on it. Excuse me? I mean, hurry. We're in Miss Frizzle's lungs? Yeah, you're being frizzled big time. So all this noise we're hearing must be the sound of her breathing air. But these tubes are getting smaller and smaller. Oh no, we're not gonna fit. <sighs> but why now? How am I gonna coach her to victory from inside her lungs? Way to go, Liz! Incredible. I always wondered what Miss Frizzle was like deep down inside. Time's up, we win. She'll be back. Well, I I'm gonna complain. I'm good at that. Well, I guess everybody's good at something. Mayday, mayday, where are you guys? Janet's gonna disqualify us. Have you guys figured out what breathing has to do with muscles yet? Working on it, we're following the air as she breathes it through her lungs. Who knew your lungs were made up of so many tiny sacks? <gasps> Looks like the air stops here. Now what do we do? Well, as my Uncle Ether always says, when you hit the ground, take a look around. Well, the air's still moving as she breathes, but where's it going? Wait a sec, this looks familiar, kind of like when we were in your bloodstream, Ralphie. Remember? You mean when you followed my blood cells all around my body? What's that got to do with air? Plenty, Ralphie. Watch. When the air hits the purple blood cells, they suck it up, and they turn bright red. <gasps> Look, it happens when she breathes in. I guess the air doesn't stop here after all. But where does it go from here? We've got to check this out. Follow that air. <laughs> nice one, Liz. We're in the bloodstream. But where is it taking us? What's that noise? Oh, you're getting to the heart of the matter now, class. We're going right into her heart. Now what? I don't know. The heart is a pump. Get ready to get squeezed out of here. One and two and one and two. Attention, Miss Frizzle. If you're not at the starting line in one minute, you're disqualified. Go away, Janet. Did she say 
Disqualified? This way, Tim. And they're off! Mr. Sinew, he's our guy. He's gonna win is his pie! I'm gonna win! I've got the muscles! But I've got the heart and the lungs. Sure feels good to be back in the bloodstream. Huh, Ralphie? But Miss Frizzle's blood is flowing a lot faster than yours did, Ralphie. Well, what do you want? I was resting, not racing against the Credible Hulk. They're at the halfway point. No telling who's going to win this one. I've got the edge. <sighs> but I've got the team. We're moving farther and farther down her leg. Yeah, but where are the muscles? I think we need to hang a left. What are all those red bands out there? According to my research, that is the muscle fiber. Muscle fiber. Stop the bus. Hey, look at that. The red blood cells are giving that white stuff to the muscles and then turning back to purple. I got to go check this out. It's almost as if the muscles are breathing in the white stuff. And breathing out the dark stuff. Phoebe, that's it! Those red blood cells are bringing air to the muscles. Hey, guys, I got it. Air has oxygen. That must be what the white stuff is. Oh. According to my research, oxygen is the part of the air our bodies use to live. So, the lungs breathe in air. The blood cells carry the oxygen. The heart pumps the blood to our muscles, which use the oxygen. So that's the team Miss Frizzle's been talking about. Lungs, blood, heart, and muscles. They're all working together. They're the oxygen team. They work together to pull oxygen into the body, pump it into the muscles, use the oxygen up, and carry away the used up stuff. What a team! So when Miss Frizzle held her breath, her muscles didn't get the oxygen they needed. She didn't have a muscle problem. She had an oxygen problem. I'm going to win. Not if I get there first. <gasps> Ralphie, I think maybe you better come look at this. This doesn't look too good to me. Man, that gray stuff's showing up all over. And there's less oxygen going into the muscles. I think we've got another oxygen problem here. Hello, Tim. We can't keep up this pace. The muscles aren't getting all the oxygen they need. It's gonna be really close. <laughs> You're good, Miss Frizzle, but not as good as me. <sighs> not as good <sighs> as I, Mr. Sinew. <sighs> And the winner is Miss Frizzle! The score is even one event apiece. She did it! Miss Frizzle won the race! <gasps> Whoa. Oh. Oops! I think I'm going to fall down. Are you all right, Miss Frizzle? Oh, I'm, I must have overdone it a little. My muscles need a few minutes to recover. Oh. I'm sorry, but you don't have a few minutes. Do you give up? No way! Get better quick, Miss Frizzle. I'd hate to win this way. But if that's the hand you're dealt... Janet! What's going on in there, you guys? Without enough oxygen, Miss Frizzle's leg muscles stop working. They're as limp as overdone spaghetti. But there's no sauce. Just this yucky ooze. Oh, excellent observation, class. That yucky ooze is lactic acid. It's what muscles make when they have to work without enough oxygen. That's what happens when you take your team to the wall. Ah, but not to worry. With enough time to rest, my blood will clear out the waste, bring in more oxygen, and I'll be ready to go again. Yes, to worry. The next event is about to start. I know. Oh, this is working out better than I thought. So here's the story. This yucky ooze tells us her muscles don't have enough oxygen, but there's no time for her blood to do the job. So we've got to get more oxygen to her muscles now. We'll have